Macbeth, in collaboration with a Serbian artist, Milan Dobrojevic. It's about two Scottish generals that are completely loyal. They met in the woods, three witches, and those three witches gave them a prophecy. The first prophecy says that Macbeth is going to be promoted twice. The second time, he's going to be the king of Scotland. On the other hand, his friend Banquo, his descendants are going to be kings. The king promoted Macbeth. And that was really strange for Macbeth to see that the prophecy is going to the right direction. And then when he went back to his castle, he met his wife. By coincidence, the king was the person who killed her father long time ago. And she told him, if one part of the prophecy is fulfilled, how about fulfilling the second part? Lady Macbeth decided to put some drugs in the wines of the guards of his room. And then she came to Macbeth and she told her husband, the king is sleeping upstairs. Take the dagger and go and finish him. Don't you want to be the king? After the king was dead, General Macbeth was the second person in charge, so he was coronated as the king. While he was celebrating his coronation, he remembered the third part of the prophecy, which says that the descendants of his best friend are going to be kings. So he started thinking, if I kill the king to be a king, of course, the descendants of my best friend are going to kill me. So he decided to kill his best friend and his children. So this series of Macbeth is is divided into almost 10 parts. And each part is, of course, in collaboration with Milan Dobrojevic. It combines two techniques, the high-tech fractals and the penmanship that I have. Like all William Shakespeare's plays, a lot of tyranny, a lot of loyalty, a lot of cunning. It's a way to remind us how when we reach the top, the most dangerous moment is victory. Because when you reach victory, this is where you're going to go downfall.